Guys, welcome to the video. It's Simon the Watch Guy. Today I'm just going to show you a little bit of information that I've kind of been sitting on for a while. It's something I've wanted to talk about, but today just seems like the right day to do so. Well, right now you're looking at the Cartier 690 movement. It's an 8 dual movement, and this is what's currently used in the Cartier Tank Solo. So in my particular tank solo in stainless steel, this is what it looks like on the inside. So you can see it's using a 315 battery. In this case, it's an energizer, but a Japanese battery, which is a bit of a faux pas because really it should probably be using a Swiss battery. But hey, it, it works. Um, again, eight joules, you can just see it's a stunning stunning looking movement if we scroll down a little bit we can just get a bit more information again it's on the tank solo there's a really interesting comment by a guy a year ago so he says that the Cartier and Ebel uh, use quartz movements that are designed and made in-house by Piaget I believe that's how you pronounce it. They have the same model numbers. So the Cartier 690 is the same as the Piaget 690P. The only difference is that Cartier uses horizontal Geneva stripes, while the Piaget uses circular stripes. So if we scroll back up, you can see those horizontal uh, stripes there across the movement. Very nice. Now, interestingly enough, they have their own trademarks on them. So they're a high quality proprietary movement. They are only serviced by the manufacturer. If they fail, they are very expensive to replace. Let's delve into that just a little bit more. So now I flip over to an eBay listing and this is for the Piaget 690P. This is the quartz movement that's found in $50,000 watches. Yes, you heard that correctly. Let me repeat that. There are Piaget $50,000 watches that use the same movement that you can find in the Cartier tank. I know it's insane, but it's very, very real. This is what you're looking at. Again, this is why there, there aren't the horizontal Geneva stripes because this is the Piaget version this is the 690p now this is a super high quality movement again it's the same one that's in the tank and bear in mind the tank is nowhere near you know a fifty thousand dollar price tag so just just be aware if you have a Cartier tank or you are going to purchase one the movement is extremely high quality just be aware of that. The same movement in the tank is in $50,000 quartz watches. Just let that sink in for a second. Why is this so important? Well, in my Jungans Max Bill, it uses a... Well, I'm going to show you what it uses. Let me come back and show you what movement is in the Max Bill. Okay, so this is essentially what is in the Max Bill. Now this is why it gets very interesting because Tag Heuer also use this quartz uh, calibre in some of their models as well so you can start to see a bit of a theme here. This is an ETA 955.112 and Jungans actually use an ever so slightly modified version. Let's just flip over to the exact one that they use. So Jungans use the J645.33 and as you can see here it's got a three year power reserve, it's got seven joules, you've got the diameter. But if we just click back onto this, this is the reference here for Jungans, but this is like the actual base module or calibre. So let's click it and there you go. So that's what we're looking at. This does have a Renata 395 Swiss made battery in. And I think this is a really interesting one, really beautiful looking movement. But what is the difference between the Max Bill and the, um, what's the difference between the Max Bill and the Cartier Calibre? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at how much this is worth. 
here we are now on eBay and you can see that this is a super, by the way, I, I really don't mean to play down this movement. This is a super accurate movement. It really is pretty damn good. But look how cheap it is. It's £38, 34 pence on eBay. And this particular movement in the max bill has probably been losing me round about one second a week. So over the course of a year, that's less than a minute a year, providing it it did only lose one second a week. So for the price, I mean, you know, this this is not a dirt cheap movement in 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 terms of movements. This is a, a very good quality uh, ETA movement. But look how affordable it is. £38.40. You know, that's it's a it's a bit of a bargain, really, for a movement. But then this is how let's flip over now to how much a the Piaget uh, movement is uh, kind of a replacement, I guess, for the Cartier tank. And we can see here that the 690p uh, new old stock. 100% original on eBay is going for £546 or 745 US dollars. So I just thought I'd record this video to let you guys know there really, really, really is a difference in quartz quality and quartz cost as well. Why does the tank cost so much? Well, the actual movement inside it yeah, although you never really get to see it, is of a super high quality, exceptional quality, you know, luxury quality. Whereas the Max Bill, yes, it has a more affordable movement, still a very good quality. It's definitely a good quality movement, uh, but that's why they offer the, the watch at a lower price, because the movement is not as high end as uh, this one, for example, which is found in, in the tank. So really interesting, and again, if you, I, I quite like Etta, you know, their automatic movements as well, but it's really interesting when you start to delve into your watch and you look at what movement it's got, what, what price it is, and it really makes you think that if something goes wrong with the Etta, it's going to be significantly more affordable to replace, and if something goes wrong with the tank, it's, it's going to cost a lot more to replace or, you know, or fix. And it makes you think about, again, that longevity theme. How long is the watch going to last? Apparently, so I've read on the Watch You Seek forums, if something goes wrong with the, the movement, when you send your Cartier in for service, they will give you a new movement. Obviously, you'll pay for that. Uh, but hey, apparently, that's what, what will happen. Now, I did have a new movement popped into my tank when I sent mine back for a service, but mine was under warranty because I had a a slight issue with my movement, it wasn't keeping good time and the, the crown uh, had a problem with the crown. So just something to bear in mind. I hope this video has been somewhat informative and, and, and somewhat useful. Uh, go ahead and check what movement your watch uses, whether it's quartz, automatic, and let me know in the comments below. Let me know your your mileage. Has it been good? Has it been reliable? What's the worst movement you've had? Uh, really excited to, to, uh, to find out uh, what your thoughts are on this one. Okay, until next time, take care, guys.